Hello, this is week two of our video lesson. Today you are going to learn chapter eight, unit three. Before we start our lesson today, I would like to give you the answer for the classwork and homework that you have in chapter eight, unit two. Okay, let's check your answer now. After checking your answer, now start our lesson, Chapter 8, Unit 3. Start now. I would like you to Google search the word Cambodian Nightmare. If you press on the image, you can see, oh, the black picture. It is about what? Khmer Rouge. And I would like you to type Khmer Rouge. And you will see a lot of pictures related to bad event, bad experience. Because it is the nightmare most Cambodian people try to forget and don't want to remember it. Yet, some people try to understand about it. They want to know how this nightmare happened. They want to know more about that. I will listen to the unit 3 of chapter 8, the past in the present. What does it mean? What is the past in the present? You are going to read the reading and find out the meaning of the past in the present. Before you start reading, I would like you to open your book to page 49 and look at the picture and talk about it. There are four questions that can help you to talk about the picture. Where are the two women? Do they have close relationship? How do you know that? Do they look happy or sad? What are they talking about, do you think? Okay. I give you five minutes to talk about it. Finish talking about the picture and then move to learning vocabulary. There are four words that I would like to teach you. The first one is the word confused, adjective. The second one, genocide, noun. Scream, noun. And stick, noun. The word confused is adjective unable to think clearly or to understand something. The meaning is unable to act, get, ban, or to understand the kujul robot away moi. Example, Grandpa gets pretty confused sometimes. Look there. God means that Pontralom Nupikla and doesn't even know what day it is. Move to the word genocide. The murder of a whole group of people, especially a whole nation, race, or religious group. The murder Example victims of genocide. Victim. genocide. Example is like Khmer kills Cambodian people, kill the whole nation. Genocide means the word scream, a loud high sound you make when very frightened, excited, or angry. The a loud clang, high kapu, just some laying a clang, high kapu. You make the net bong kaat lang when very frightened. The pay dai pay clack clang, excited, repair clang, or angry, the call. Minaram Kanklang. 
scream ani ja ji ka strike lon lang ro lang stick a thin piece of wood or other material ke chang samna ta le ji chu da sdang re ko patho ek ke psen ji da vi men le kan da police said that the child had been bitten with a stick police ban ni jai tha khmeng trơ ban vi dom daoy patho da sdang mini tha rom pot Okay. Yeah. Finish our vocabulary. And now open your book at page 49 and start to read the story. You have 10 minutes to read that. After 10 minutes finish reading the story, I would like you to spend another 8 minutes to read the story again and answer the question from 1 to 5. I will read the question and translate the question for you. Question number one. What did Dr. Chana say was a hell? Why? That's a kid that Dr. Chana said that we are a crop of the vegetarian. I had a man in the young original. Question number two. What did Dr. Chana say was an unusual? That are waiter that Dr. Chana said that we are a good room. Question number three. Was Dr. Chanda selected? Do you think? Why? Ta Dr. Chanda Krabban ke Rh Yog Dai Rute Tam Chibol Rabban Ne Ta Hai Dai Ban Chie Kwa Krabban Ke Chirr Rh Number 4 What made Rotana feel somewhat confused? Ta Awai Dai Tvo Aoi Rotana Min Aram Du Chie Chot Lom Rukam Manjul Question number 5 why did Dr. Jana think that it was important to try to understand things, however terrible they were? Had we been here, Dr. Jana could have a good reading, not some can. That's why we have a good reading, not some can. But to see, reading, not some can, terrible. We are not clang, not die, not that's why you don't be here. Okay, let's get started. Read the story and answer all of the questions. After eight minutes, you come back and learn the grammar point about second conditional. Okay, now start our grammar about second conditional. How, how do we use second conditional? Today you learn the use and the form. The use. No penalty in prior second conditional. Use to talk about something in the present which is impossible because it's not true. To talk about something in the present, which is impossible. Because it's not true. The wrong forms mean subject plus were or weren't. Kapad yung ay pra was pantay na kung formal writing subject na kadaw yung dito si dito si I kaya yun tata pra were dahil na kung formal writing. So, yeah, we prefer were. If it is negative, weren't plus subject plus would or wouldn't plus were. Example, if I were rich, I wouldn't buy a small house. Person ba kinyom miyan, kinyom mong tinh kateh, tau te, pru miyan lui, chong thay tinh teh dae, tae thong chin nang. But it is impossible now that I have a lot of money like a rich man. Okay? So, we use second conditional here to talk about something that is impossible now. When I do it, I try to mean, but it's just imagination. You talk about something that is impossible that when I do it, the bell alone. But the human but another example in negative form. If I weren't at work, I'd be on the beach. Person but 
the beach Okay, so you see the short form of wood to apostrophe the. Okay, another form subject plus verb to plus subject wood or wooden plus verb. Example If I had enough money, I would go and live in Rome. So we use passing Paul here had verb to. I get into the, the sentence. I had enough money. Person mark nyom mean loy group kron. That this one talk about person. Nijom be away die kampung. That 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 you patch upon a car. And I keep proud we update the car to Saturday. Kichong with your tire. Second conditional colliding. To be at the root patch upon them. Chung magic came and proud and wrong verb. Team way keep proud and wrong verb. TP to head. If I had an amani, present my I would go and live in Rome. Rome. The last form, subject plus didn't plus verb plus subject or would or wouldn't plus verb. Example: If he didn't have you with everyone all the time, he would have a more relaxed life. Didn't ask you, okay? I know Toma would plus verb. If he didn't ask you with everyone all the time, person but got men lose him more than the rock near roll the pay roll the dong day, he would have a more relaxed life. Got none mean to word dial socks by men provol. The Shinaka prize can get this not a young piece, a key dial, a young pong. Okay, now we finish our grammar point. And I would like you to open your book, page 50, and you can read the table. Uh, I give you this one as the homework to join the statement in table A and table B to make five correct statements. This is the homework about second conditional okay that's all for today thank you and see you next week goodbye